Coming to you from the Strack and Van Til Studios. This is your 219 News Now. Strack and Van Til, making customers' lives easier for 93 years. I'm Jeannie Deedlow and this is your 219 News Now. Workers at Starbucks in Valparaiso on Laporte Avenue have voted 16 to 5 to unionize in a bid to preserve benefits and secure better pay and working conditions. That makes it the second unionized Starbucks in Indiana. Organizer Regan Skagg said they held a sip-in last week that was well attended. This is steel worker country, Skagg said. There's a lot of union organizations here that have shown their support. More than 275 Starbucks have unionized across the country in recent years. The Senate Committee on Natural Resources voted 8-0 Monday to advance a bill to the full Senate that requires all public access points along Lake Michigan to install safety equipment, including at least one life ring and any other necessary rescue equipment. The sponsor of the proposal, State Senator Rodney Pohl Jr. of Chesterton, says this legislation is about saving lives. According to Pohl, at least 52 drowned in Lake Michigan over the last decade. Seven decades ago, there was a rumble at the the Hammond basketball sectional. The next year, a group of businessmen gathered the teams for dinner beforehand. That tradition is still going strong with a sportsmanship dinner, which brought together about 900 people, including 30 teams Monday night at Halls of St. George in Cherville. IHSAA Assistant Commissioner Robert Fulkin spoke. The purpose of the efforts of these people here, your coaches, and those folks in the back, is to make sure you appreciate and show respect for this game that you love. Show respect for this opportunity to play basketball. The main speaker was PNW Athletic Director Rick Costello, who addressed the lessons learned by playing college sports. Through athletics, we advance learning. We foster positive and personal growth. We cultivate leadership skills and we create spirit and pride in the community. Through athletics, student athletes learn lessons about teamwork, perseverance, persistence, and resiliency in the face of adversity. Sectionals kick off next Tuesday. Jed TV coverage starts with Hammond Central versus Gary Westside from Munster. I'm Jeannie D. Lowe, and this was your 219 News Now.